This video is going to explain how to add a page border in PowerPoint compared to having no page border. Let me show you how to do this. This will serve as my clean slate in showing you how to create a page border within PowerPoint. To do this, I need to click on Insert and then Shapes. And here there's a wide variety of different types of shapes. For this presentation, I'm going to show you using a rectangular box. So I'm going to click on the rectangle. Now I'm going to actually make a rectangular box within the slide. I hold down the cursor, drag it, and voila. Next, what I need to do is double click on the image. Then I need to click on Shape Fill, and then click on No Fill. And as you can tell, we go from a colored box to just an outline of the box. Then I'm going to click on Shape Outline, weight and then change its weight to a different font. We'll use six for this example. So as you can see there's no page border and with what I just did I now have a blue page border. I do like the borders to match the font type and the color so I'm going to change the color on this quickly. Okay that is one example on how to do a page border in PowerPoint. Let me show you another way to do the exact same steps but customize the border a little bit differently. I need to repeat the steps of insert, shape, and then I'm going to click on the rectangle. I'm going to go through the same steps I once did, create the rectangle, double click, I'm going to click on shape fill, no fill, shape outline, weight, and instead of doing just the numbers here, what I'm going to do is click on more lines. With that, I'm going to click on what's called the compound type and select different ones. Here I'll view the second one. And then I'm going to increase the width to, we'll make it big for emphasis, we'll go to 9.25 and then press close. So here is my final product when I do the lines within the lines and then increase to a font size of about 9. And now I'm going to repeat the same steps to provide you with one more basics of how to do this. So I click on Insert, Shape, Rectangle, Create the entire rectangle, Double Click, Shape Fill, No Fill, Shape Outline. Now I just want to tell you, you can actually change your colors, either by using the custom or standard. We'll go pink today. Click on pink, and now the border is actually pink. We'll go back to shape outline, weight, more lines. And if I want to, I can actually create a shadow where I can pick different colors and say we'll pick blue. And then we'll press OK. We'll go back up to the size just for emphasis to show you visually. Press close. And now you can see the pink border, but there's also a shadow of blue on the top side as well as the bottom side. The next thing I want to show you is how to use a page border using Microsoft Word and then copy and pasting it and placing it into PowerPoint. Let me show you how to do that. First, you need to enter Microsoft Word software. Now to match Microsoft PowerPoint, what I like to do is just change the orientation to landscape to mimic the PowerPoint slide layout as well. Then I'm going to use in page layout page borders that are already created within Microsoft Word. So I click on page layout and then page border. Here another screen pops up called borders and shadings. What I like to do is first click on custom and then click on art. When you click on art, there's actually various different types of page border designs. Now some of these are too busy for a document, whereas others are pretty professional looking and nice. So let me look to find one. Here I'm going to click on a traditional one that looks like this. I'm going to change its width and make it bigger just for emphasis. And then let's change its oh, colors is fine. And then I'm going to click on the word OK. Here I have a beautiful page border done in Microsoft Word. What I need to do is take this page border and put it in PowerPoint. To me, the simplest way to do this is create a screenshot. 
So how you do that on Windows is you press Control, Print Screen. Now I'm back in PowerPoint and I click right click, paste. Now here the image kind of gets funny, so what I need to do is I actually need to crop it. How I do that is double click and then press the word crop. So to crop it I just click on crop and then when I do that there's little black that goes around the picture. Here you'll see a black mark here, a black mark here, this reminds me of corners of a photo frame, etc. These mean how to pull the image in and edit the picture. Pull this out a little bit. Okay, now we have a page border, but as you can tell, this is over the word. So all I need to do is right click, send to back, and now I have a beautiful image where it says page border example number two using Microsoft Word. So now let's review what we did. Here visually you can tell there's no page border. We have a page border. And in this example it was quickly inserted, added an image, removed the outline, and then changed the weight of the line. For this example what we did is we went through insert, added a shape, removed um, the uh, picture, the color of the picture, so it's an outline only, and then what we did is we manipulated the different types of lines going into the various advanced settings to create a blue with white space and then a blue. Here we did the same thing. We inserted an image and removed the background of the image, just keeping the outer outline. And then we added a shadow effect both at the top and the right. And then last but not least, we used products from Microsoft, such as Microsoft Word, used their default setting and here created a page border in Microsoft and then brought it into PowerPoint. Hope this helps in your design.